Kerala is often considered as one of the most politically aware states in India, specifically when you talk about a district like Malapuram, which uh, constitutes of all the majority Muslim population in Kerala, which, by the way, is the second largest religious group in Kerala. The dimen dimensions change so much. Even as you travel across the MLA constituencies in Malapuram, you, Malapuram, you realize how closely is politics and religion interweaved. So much so that uh, this perhaps is the first time that a major political party is fielding a woman candidate. That too against a six-time MP from Malapuram. Northern Kerala's Malapuram flaunts its achievements. The proudest, its female literacy rate, which is an astounding 90%. But in this Muslim-dominated area, the rate of women's participation in the workforce is a mere 7.63%. Changing the trend is 52-year-old P.K. Zainaba. With years of party work, she is doing what no woman has ever done in Malapuram. A CPIM candidate, she is contesting the Lok Sabha elections in this Muslim League stronghold. The first for any woman from a national political party here. As she speaks, women mostly gather together on their verandas to listen to her. Maintaining their distance from men and media, though silent about her victory, many smile at her candidature. Zainaba refuses to cover her head during her campaigns. A sharp contrast to the Muslim women who come to listen to her. Despite the controversy created around it by the opposition, people around don't see that as an issue in elections. To cover the hair is not a problem. The problem mainly is the uh, uh, developmental problem of this constituency. Educated women are not working in this uh, constituency or in Malapuram. A reaction which is condemned by the sitting MP of Malapuram constituency and IML candidate E. Ahmed. Women in Malapuram have only a contribution of 7.6 in terms of their workforce. So how do you think of addressing this? That is certainly a big progress. Earlier okay. day it was spent. Now it has been taken. E. Ahmed, the Minister of State for External Affairs at 76, is contesting his seventh Lok Sabha election. He hasn't tasted defeat yet. Speaking slowly, he takes time out to meet his supporters. Malapuram has seen the return of several migrant laborers from Saudi due to the strict enforcement of migrant labor laws. Rafiq's income has reduced to half the amount he used to earn in Riyadh. Now he works with a hotel in Malapuram. But many like him say E. Ahmed did what he could have. But this poll season, the biggest complaint against him is that he's hardly seen in the constituency. In Malapuram, it is religion that decides political loyalties and even gender identities. Only in 2004, CPIM for the first time in Malapuram constituency, which earlier was Manjeri, was able to make a mark and win a seat. Would it be any different this time is what the voters would have to decide for. With camera person SV Babu, Sneha Koshi from Malapura.